Hello Internet, it's Matt from squarestorm.com and I'd like to talk about traffic jams and how much time all of us spend just sitting in our cars waiting for it to move and how much of our lives are wasted just commuting. It's quite a lot. I don't really have this problem, I'm lucky enough to live close enough to work to walk. But you know, every day I see all these people on the road and they're not moving. They might as well get out of their cars and walk and they'll get to where they want to get probably sooner. So this is taken at um, Herring Road on the way to Macquarie Uni, which is where I work. Macquarie Uni and North Ride in this area is described as the Silicon Valley <coughs> sorry, <coughs> of Australia. There's a lot of people that work here. And there are some workarounds for that, public transport. So you've got trains and buses. You can see in this video, there's like a bus right there stuck in the middle of traffic. That's not too good. And if you, even if you do take trains... Trains kind of still are restricted to um, this concept of timetables. And, you know, um, when you do get onto the train and you're lucky enough to get on, uh, you have to stop at every stop to pick people up and let people off. So um, I'd like to propose a solution. I've rigged up a proof of concept inside Unity because um, I'm not a real engineer. It uses physical simulations just to show that this concept is actually viable. It's basically an ultra light rail system where the pods can decide where they go. So usually in normal train systems, it's the tracks that change the direction of the trains that go. But with this, we have um, transition junctions where the, tr uh, the little pods can decide whether they go left or right. And that's pretty much all we need to have a public transport system or transport system where you can just go anywhere. Um, and that's perfectly viable. You know, computers are built on zeros and ones, and look what we've got. So what this system provides is quite a lot of things. It's really, really cheap to build. You can build it on top of any pre-built infrastructure at the moment without having to knock everything down. Everywhere is a freeway, so there are no intersections. You don't have to wait for traffic lights. You're just basically, basically going to go through and um, zoom around. If the other, like the traffic going in the other direction is either going above or under you, so it doesn't matter. It's really, really scalable. So if you run out of capacity in one level, you can just build another level on top of it and you've got another lane. So it's not like you have to expand the roads, you know, knock everything down to actually widen the lanes, which is what we currently need to do with roads. And most crucially for commuters, it's a point-to-point -point transport system. So you get onto a pod and you go straight to the destination. You don't stop for anyone to pick anyone up. You don't have to stop at a stop to let anyone down. It's just go straight. It's just like your own private thing, but it's on a rail system. In fact, there's nothing stopping us from having a dual transport system where we would have this rail system above our heads, but um, there would be a transition. So obviously we can't have stops in every house, but what if there was like an off-ramp that goes from a normal road uh, and then our vehicles would just climb onto the system and we're basically flying around. So I guess what this is is like a flying car system without having to invent anti-gravity. I'm going to make this demo available for you guys to play around with, uh, including the source. It'd be good if you guys can play around with it. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really a 3D modeling person at all, so some of it's really rough. They're just basically using Unity primitives. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm also not a real engineer. I mean, like a mechanical engineer or an aerospace engineer. I'm, I'm just a programmer. So if you're an engineer listening to this and you think this idea has legs, it would be really cool if you could get in touch with me so we can make maybe a physical mock-up model because uh, I just really want this system to be available and um, just the potential of it to you know free up the transport systems of the world I think is really really huge. I mean I was in Kathmandu about two years ago and I was struck by how the lanes were so narrow and how badly planned the city was and uh, you know if they wanted to improve the transport system they'd basically have to knock out some really really old buildings and you don't want that. So if we had a system like this, we could just like put the transport system on top of the buildings, and that, that would be really cool. I mean, just think of any other congested city that would benefit from this. So anyway, uh, that's it for me, I think. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, links will be in the description. See you later.